Asokere Babatunde, who is also an indigene of Badagri, is a very creative artist. Although he studied art in one of the Nigerian institutions in Japan, Asokere's mother had groomed him well in the fundamentals of artwork and art she had acquired from her lineage. Our great grandmothers, they were making the, uh, pot, clay pots. They do export it through Trans-Saharan trade. You know, they do pack all this thing through Trans-Saharan trade to other neighboring African continents. Yes. So that's uh, how export it through water. Mm. So where, where in Badagri did the pot making start from? Where? It starts from Topo and at the same time by doing it there in Topo, they were doing it also there in Okome, within Badagri main city. They were doing it at the coastal region. The coastal riverine area like this, we were doing it. Why the coastal region? The reason for coastal region is that uh, any coastal area, like riverine area like this, you find clay in every riverine area. And anywhere there is clay, they were, you will find our people doing pots and they will be producing pots one way or the other. Because they take it as a profession then. Like this. Yes. How much is the like this? Then or now? Then and now. Then, then they were dealing with. Um, they were dealing in either cowries. But I don't know the kind of money they were spending then. But I can only say something about now. Like this one now, you know, we have modernized it to ceramics and pot. So it can cost anything less than 25,000. Yes, 25,000, 15,000, depending on the kind of, you know, we make this one for lamp, executive lamp pot. Uh -huh. you know, we fix shade on it and fix it on, on this thing and put it inside conference rooms. Yeah. So how long does it take to make a conference? Like this one, this one is hand built. Then this hand build sometimes we spend one week but we will be doing other works along with it. Because when we decided to do it at once it can collapse. Like if your grandmothers, uh, your grandmothers, for instance, mm. how long do you think it took them to make a pot? Like this. Yes. I something close. Something close to this. You know, by producing a water pot, they will place about four or five down, and they will be making it gradually. Within three or four days, they produce five of it. But now we can other things along with this, we can produce more than 100 pieces within a week. But by the time we are producing this, we will be producing other things which are smaller than these giant ones. Mm. So for how long have you been in this business now? No, since 1987. 1987. Yeah. So what are the challenges you had along the challenges I've been having is that uh, one have to risk a lot of things in the business. Business is a risk and uh, with hard working and uh, whatever challenges we may face, you know, one need to you know, be hard working and face the future because anything that we want to achieve, we have to be serious about the business and whatever that comes to the to our way we have to comply with it and we, uh, we don't have to give up with the likes of a so carry importing mugs 
jugs, flower verses, and other handicrafts in that category from Brazil, Asia, or any other part of the world is no more a lucrative business, unlike in the era of Seriki Abbas. and dancing for the people are mediums they use to express themselves. An example is this performance, the Iteshi Wajuola group called Freedom Dance, a dance they